A former Bakersfield man caught on surveillance video allegedly brutally sexually assaulting a homeless woman. It happened in Fresno. 23 ABC's Eliza Navarro has been tracking the latest on that police investigation. She joins us now in studio with more. Eliza? According to court records, 24-year-old uh, Micah Collins has been has had a lengthy criminal record here in Kern County dating back to 2012 with convictions for battery, vandalism, burglary and disorderly conduct. Fresno police say you can see 24 year old Micah Collins from Bakersfield walking behind some businesses in Fresno. He has the victim's backpack that detectives believe she wanted back. A short physical disturbance occurs before the 52 year old victim is knocked to the ground. The video is too graphic for officers to show what happened next. A brutal rape and continuous violence strikes to keep the victim down. Periodically he would punch the victim in her face. Uh, to the point where she was semi-conscious. Uh, when the rape ended, detectives say the partially nude victim, critically injured and unable to move, was dragged to a more secluded area. At that point, the, uh, the suspect uh, grabbed the victim by her ankles and then pulled her um, approximately 20 feet and placed her in a corner of a business. Detectives tracked down the suspect to find injuries on his hand they believe he got during the attack. During an interview, he claimed the victim disrespected him before the sexual assault, but he was unable to describe how. Officer said he has no regret. Our detectives asked Collins if he was sorry, and Collins said no, that he wanted uh, to put a baby in her. That is the type of mindset uh, that Micah Collins has. Investigators say the victim has several fractures to her face. She once had a great career and is educated, even earning a master's degree. But hard times about four years ago and a death in the family left her on the streets. The victim was so injured she was unable to even put back on her clothes. Officers found her covered by only cardboard. The surveillance cameras are clearly visible in the area. It's unclear if it was too dark or if the suspect wasn't paying attention to the signs that warn the area is under watch 24 hours a day. Collins appeared in court this morning, but his arraignment was continued until next Thursday 